The SRs aren't guaranteed from a Korean booster box. The SRs aren't guaranteed from a Korean booster box. The SR is not guaranteed from a Korean booster box. Welcome back, guys. It's been a while. You guys already know what this set is. I don't even need to say what it is. Exactly. Anyway, it is long. It is a sticker. It has a rip tab. Let's just get straight into this. I don't even need to say what's in here. You guys already know. It's probably not $1,000, the Iono. Who, who the fuck knows what it is anyway? Anyway, I'm just going to rip straight through this. It's a bit different. I'm glad they're at least keeping the rip tab. We're just going to dump all this out. Let's see what we pull. Again, if you guys didn't know already, SR is not guaranteed. So, Jay, ask all your questions away since you love doing that as well. All right. Oh, yeah. By the way, guys, before Jay asks his questions, did you know I actually met up with Jay Love? over the past, actually last week at this point, which is really cool. And he met Jay. Hello. Look who I'm meeting with. I'm here with longtime friend Crystal Clips. After like three years, we finally met. He's come all the way from Australia. If you guys don't know if you're here, go check him out. If you don't know Crystal Clips, go check her out. <laughs> all right, we're gonna eat now. Get out of here. He's the only person in Pokemon that's actually met Jay in real life. And my God, they are best buds. Did you have a good time, Jay? I had the best time. He, me and OK Jay Love, uh, we went to the club. We actually did. <laughs> and, People um, stripped it too. <laughs> yeah, we. It was sort of like a strip, a Korean strip club. Pause. We do have adverts in this just before we get carried away. Some of the boxes <laughs> won't have advertisements. I know a lot of people ask this. Some people try to ask too, Does, is my box fake? If I don't have the advertisement, it's not fake. It's just some boxes won't have them. But one thing too, I don't know why the set likes to advertise themselves. It's like it's encouraging me to buy more. But yeah, anyway, no pull on that pack. Packs don't guarantee a pull. They now have silver borders. If this is your first time seeing a crane booster box, but yes, continue your story, Jay. Yeah, uh, we, we were in... um. What, what was it? K-Town Pocha? Yeah, K-Town Pocha, which means bar in Korean. So we were in K-Town NYC and yeah, the table next to us was stripping. Um. <laughs> While Jay Love, our other friend Dan, and also we're just all having a conversation and all these people next to us were just stripping. And okay, Jay Love, he had no idea what was going on. We have a luxury holographic, by the way. I, I, I do know the names, I'm just letting Jay tell his story. Sorry. But I'll yeah, that, it was, it was, oh, this is an interesting advert. It has nothing to do with the set. <laughs> they will be randomized. Some of them will feature the Korean League, which is really cool. The tournaments in Korea are definitely popping off. There's more locations being built. We have Noibat, Luxio. But yeah, it was a good time. Got to know Jaylove in real life, which is really cool. <gasps> okay, I'm really happy I pulled this artwork of Tyranitar. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. I love the colors. This is by... What does this say? Norikabe. It's really hard to see with this color. <laughs> so it's really nice. And we have the silver borders. No more yellow borders in the scarlet and violet era. So that's, oh, we have a card list too. Very, very nice. Gonna put it in my little sleeves here. I actually did, okay, one thing I forgot to mention too. I did open a box of this off camera. So this is technically my first clay burst on camera opening. And I pulled a really cool SR actually, actually before I opened that pack. I did get an SR, so very happy about that. Not guaranteed, but if I were to pull a full art, this is the one I really wanted to pull. This is Chi you one of the four ruinous spirits so really nice of course ting lu is the other one that you can get in the set and the other two are from snow hazard and one thing i need to mention too before we get carried away with story time um one thing about the release date so this came out Ju uh, june 14th not july yet june 14th whereas the japanese version came out april 14th so exactly two months ago oh my god yeah so it's been a while which is funny because pokemon 151 just came out so if you kind of want to use that as a rule of thumb so when the korean sets comes out it's usually when the next japanese set comes out not all the time but it's a good estimator and we have another <laughs> tyranitar very nice holographic yes it is still very weird seeing korean cards with hollow borders so that's going to take some time to adjust to but really really nice i really like that so if you're one person who regularly follows the korean releases and wondering how far apart Part, did the Korean sets come out from the Japanese versions? It's usually well, like a month and a half to two, two months. months. Jay knows. Jay knows what, what I was gonna say. <laughs> there you go. No, but but yeah. Other than that, that's pretty much all the things you need to know. International backings. Anything that's not Japanese will have those backings. Oh my God, guys! We, there's the Gen Five plushies. Even Korea's advertising them, and then the Paldea starter plushies in the front. That's really cool. But yeah, advertisements are fun to have. Again, don't expect the SR. One of my other boxes that I opened off camera, I did also open Snow Hazard off camera. I will open it on YouTube, but that box off camera was not nice to me. It did not have a secret rare, so I don't have a secret rare to show you 
from Snow Hazard. If I do off camera polls before my YouTube videos, I will try my best to show it to you guys. Come on, focus card. There you go. Yeah, my camera doesn't like to focus unless I hold it very still. <laughs> and that's also what I'm looking at over here, if you're wondering. We have a nice spirit tomb and we have a little random. Oh, yeah, another advertisement of the set. <laughs> I'm surprised they don't. They used to advertise other sets in the past, unless I'm thinking of something else. But sometimes they would advertise themselves and then they would advertise other things. But yeah, we had a fun time with Jayla. We had Korean chicken. He had a blast. Do whatever you want. It's lychee soju. And I don't know where it came from or what it does, but I'm gonna drink it. With Crystal and Jay. Shout yourself out, Jay. He's having one heck of a time though, like touring the States. He's gonna go to NAIC next week. So cheering him on for that, but I know. Yeah! I know he's going to Japan. He already made it. So very excited for him at Yokohama. Go follow him if you haven't already. He focuses a lot on Japanese releases. So if you're a bigger fan of the Japanese cards and you don't know his channel, check him out. He's the senpai of Japanese cards. <laughs> and we have Tadpole. Please don't cringe at that. <laughs> Pupitar. Oh, first EX card. Very nice. The mascot of the set too. We have Ting Lu. Very nice. One of the ruinous spirits. I think the bowl is the item of interest. There is Chiyu is the beads, the, the cursed beads something like that. I'm very excited for the DLC coming out shortly. I think this fall and we're getting, we definitely got another leak too from Nintendo Direct. So I was very excited to see that footage. I can't wait to see more of the storyline. And that's also why I like opening these sets because I feel like a lot of the artwork kind of coordinates with um, what happens in the game. So this is really cool. Another advertisement. I like this too because it actually features the super art rares or the special art rares. Haven't pulled one of those yet, so if we do pull one, I would love to see the Chi Yu, if possible. Ooh, that would that did not rip nicely. Do you guys remember back in the day when I used to struggle? Like, actually, no, I only used scissors back in the day with Korean packs because they're so difficult to open by hand. It just I've just gained more confidence over time <laughs> opening them by hand, but it's still a struggle. They don't open very cleanly. We have Garganackle, and we have the Korean League. Very nice with the Pikachu backing. I really like this. All right. So we're not even halfway through the box yet. If we do pull Ayano though, I won't I won't believe it because honestly, like Korean pulls just not easy to get at all. Alright, we have Nakli. Oh no, no, that's that's the one before it. That's uh I can't remember. Nakli and then Garga Knuckles the next one. Knuckle stack is the one. All right. What else do I want to pull? There's again the nice thing about the Korean box is they also guarantee the three art rares, which is really cool. We have Barboach, Shinx, Jigglypuff. Heracross and Wigglytuff. But see, this is also why I like opening the other languages of Pokemon cards, because, you know, nowadays, since the Japanese cards are just so hard to get, at least you can rely on Korean, Chinese, and the other languages, you know. If you still want to open packs, have fun and not spend an arm and a leg. Right, Jay? Mm -hmm. It feels like the good old days, too, because we also used, we used to open um, Korean boxes back in, like, 2018, up until now. And we can still do that, you know? All right, let's see what else we can get. There's also Terra cards, which is nice as well. I think Fortress is in this one, and then Slow Kings and Snow Hazard. But what are your chases? If you're not chasing after Iono, what are you chasing after in Clay <laughs> Clay Burst? I almost said Clay Hazard. Jay likes to combine them together, and then they're pretty Burst, much. No. Okay, we got our SR. At least we got an SR. Ooh. It's not a bad SR. We have Noivern. Noivern's actually been featured quite a bit. We also saw this in um, what's it called? Skyscraping Perfect, <laughs> the um, sister or brother set of um, Blue Sky Stream. So we're getting a lot of Noivern lately, so that's pretty cool. All right, so, and honestly too, if you guys haven't noticed already, the actual texture is really nice. Like I've noticed this even with the Chi Yu SR I pulled from the other clay burst, the texturing is really nice in Korean. I'm starting to really like Korean cards even more now. So if you collect Korean and you're staying persistent with it, it's kind of a good thing. Stick around with it because Korean cards are definitely becoming more popular in Korea. The more popular it is, the more Pokemon can invest in the quality if they choose to do so. Sometimes the more popular Pokemon gets, sometimes <laughs> quality gets sacrificed as we see with the English releases. No offense, but that's just something I've noticed. But at least that's not the case with the Korean sets. Would you agree, Jay? Yeah. So, but anyways, 
Lots of Paldea Pokemon love here. Yes, we're also gonna get one Pokemon 151. I don't want to hear questions <laughs> being asked about. Is, one po is Pokemon 151 gonna come out in Korean? Yes, it will. They don't skip sets. I did mention this in a previous video. I'm just answering this way ahead of time before people start asking again. But um, it's one thing that surprised me too. It's coming out in English as well. So we get it in all kinds of languages. Because I was wondering too, Pokemon 151 is a highly themed set. I don't know how they would have combined it with a different like um, Asian language set to make it really, you know, stand out from the other sets. So that's really cool to see. Anyways, let's continue with this and also stay tuned for Snow Hazard. Um, I'm going to be, I try to open both as well, but I like to open one set at a time so we don't get confused and we can confocus. Knackly, Camerupt, oh, another Noivern, very nice. I love the dragon colors. I wonder if they're going to bring back fairy types. I know a lot of people are waiting for that. So, and we're just going to go ahead and sleeve this up with my villain pikachu sleeves i do like that i wish pokemon released more um poncho pikachu sets if you guys were around for that those are really cool i managed to grab just this one i really wish i got the rayquaza one but it is what it is all right charcadet we have the wasteland there bombardier blushies this is really cute actually the foy coco one is my favorite <laughs> all right at this point i'm not gonna expect any you know crazy cards i'm still actually expecting some more art rares we did just get the tyranitar so far so i think the other two are probably going to be in the side of the box not really side just half i guess we get a weavile very nice hollow do you like the um hollow borders or the silver borders of the korean cards today or do you miss the yellow borders uh i think i actually miss yellow borders honestly. <laughs> you know in a way i don't know if you guys agree with me on this but the korean cards are a bit more memey with the yellow borders, it made them a little bit more fun and amusing, especially when you compare it with the Japanese sets, but now they're kind of the same. But, and at the same time too, it always feels better pulling a secret rare though in Korean because it's not guaranteed, it just feels a bit more special, so. All right, got Tadbulb looking angry. I usually would expect that to a bit look a bit happy. Okay, Fletchling, we have Whiskash. Ooh, Serilege, very nice holographic by Murayama. I love the coloring on this. And then we, of course, have the advertisement. So the adverts will make the packs feel a bit thicker. It doesn't mean we have six cards. It's just five cards plus the adverts. And again, usually, usually I've seen them in the first print run. Just to repeat, not always, because sometimes I, I get these sets right away and some boxes just don't have it. It just, you know, randomly seeded sometimes. Don't fear if they're, you know, fake or something. Oh, we got a tarot card. We got Fortress. I love the tarot cards. Just, I like how Pokemon put extra effort in actually adding texture to these. So it's really nice. And it has the hat. I don't know if you guys saw like the first episode or like one of the earlier episodes of the new Scarlet and Violet Pokemon series, but there was a shiny Rayquaza feature and it didn't have the hat. And it was terrestrialized looking, so who knows what that's going to develop into. If that turns into a promo card, I'm going to be hopping on that. Just, I'm calling it now. I feel like they might make a promo of that one day because there was a Shiny Rayquaza featured as a promo in one of the games. Nabunaga's Ambition or Pokemon Conquest in English. So who knows? Ooh, finally another art rare with Farigaraf palindrome name just like giraffe ring <laughs> this one's really cute though I like the aspect of how like one's like zoomed in and like the rest are just zoomed out with the face covering <laughs> very odd oddly designed um pokemon but i do like it very nice art rare too and also i like the hollow foil in it. korean version is definitely getting better very happy to see the progress i'll be sticking around for the korean cards long run i'm definitely not gonna abandon this language anytime soon especially since you guys also enjoyed i'm definitely noticing more popularity with the korean card so thank you guys so much for watching the videos taking the time to learn understanding the differences because one thing i really want to talk about too before this video ends like if you guys engage in box breaks i don't recommend especially if you are the box breaker like i just don't recommend korean booster boxes being used for box breaks especially because they don't guarantee secret rares and if you do you know you're free to do what you want just please 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 advertise like on text you know word of mouth just please advertise that uh, srs are not guaranteed because the last thing you want is people being disappointed in your polls <laughs> and not knowing what they're buying especially if you're going to charge more than two dollars a pack we have a chiyu very nice i did pull this too in my other box but it's very nice to see this again ex form i do love the full art ideally the super art where it would be very nice but those are definitely harder to pull i might just get it one day just buy it honestly it makes it easier i don't like gambling with these boxes i'd rather just get the card i want all right crow gunk skip plume we got the drone oops almost pulled that one and toxicroak and a card list but yeah i just wanted to get that off my chest if you guys want to do the box breaks go ahead and do that i personally wouldn't 
But if you find that fun and you want to engage with your favorite content creators, and if, you're con if that favorite content creator of yours isn't advertising this specific fact about Korean Booster Box, at least make it known. You know, say it in the chat. Just make everyone worry about it. It's, it's better for everyone to know than not. And then we have a Tyranitar holographic. Yes, repeats happen. Don't, Don't be alarmed. Repeat it too. Don't just say it in small text. Like all capital letters, bold, posted five times. <laughs> is not guaranteed. It's just for the betterment of everyone. It's not the same everyone. as Japanese cards. Because people will confuse us, especially now we have silver borders. I did talk about this in a previous video. If you don't know the differences between Japanese, Korean, Chinese, you will be fucked. <laughs> and we have Nakli Art Rare. Nice. So both of them were, you know, on that side of the box. Very cool. Very nice Art Rare. This is by also another card by Moriyama. Lots of feature of this artist. And also what I like too, when you reflect the hollow foil against the light, the Pokemon sticks out and the holographic foil is... um you know, doing its own thing, so that's really cool. I like how Pokemon have really put effort in their art rare cards and continued it since it gained popularity since Dream League, so. Pikachu by Okacheka, very nice Pikachu to collect. I have uh, Crabrawler, we have one before Mousehold. <laughs> tandem Mouse, that's the one. Mouse in tandem. All right, guys, so uh, 